Homeless advocates in the beach community say they want to turn a little used parking lot into a safe space for people sleeping in their cars and RVs. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron takes an in-depth look at their plan. Paige Hernandez remembers what it's like to be homeless. I've slept in my car before with my mother. She was a single parent to five children. Those memories are why Hernandez is part of a group of people trying to turn this lot, the South Shore's boat ramp on Mission Bay, into a safe parking lot for people experiencing homelessness in the beach communities. It's got 120 RV length spots. While it's a great boat launch, while it's a great access point for our parks and our bay, we don't think that's the highest and best use for it right now. Right now, most of the spots in this lot are reserved for cars with boats on their trailers. And as you can see, a lot of the ones parked here already don't have that. That means they could get ticketed or towed at any time. Advocates say all that does is criminalize homeless, and that's one of the issues they're trying to end. Giving folks tickets for sleeping in their cars or, you know, uh, living in their RVs just further uh, creates a system that they can't they can't get out of. Uh, it's perpetual homelessness. It's a chronic issue. The group started a petition to ask Mayor Gloria and the City Council to approve the project. They say the state's new shelter crisis law for the COVID-19 pandemic removes some of the bureaucracy that normally blocks ideas like this. We're just trying to be creative and um, think a little bit outside of the norms so that we can start addressing, like I said, this crisis that's going on right now. In a statement, Mayor Gloria told ABC 10 News, quote, no issue is more critical right now than addressing homelessness and called permanent housing his top long term priority. But he declined to specifically address the Mission Bay idea. A city spokesperson calls it problematic because, quote, there are significant restrictions on what cities may do with parkland. The city says three other existing sites have enough capacity already, and if they need more, quote, we will consider additional locations through a careful analysis of potential sites across our city. The group disagrees. We really want to see the city take advantage of these state laws passed during COVID to come up with creative, short-term solutions to this crisis. It allows people to, to be human, um, to continue to live in, within society and to feel like they are cared for. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Jared. We reached out to Council President Jennifer Campbell, who represents the beach areas. She tried to create a safe lot in that space in 2019 and told us she still supports creating safe lots in the beach community.